Hello everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. So in this video, we're going to be covering how we can create a slider. I already have a video, but that is only for the horizontal slider. In this video, we're going to be covering horizontal slider and the vertical slider both. All right. So that you can, you know, maybe for specific product, you want a horizontal slider for another product or uh, except that products you want the vertical slider let me show you the back end so the vertical slider is enabled if we disable that or uncheck that loosely we have the horizontal slider and we have the arrow to change the slider and if we check mark Now we have the horizontal slider, all right, and we also have the arrow to change the pictures or change the product item. I'm going to use the dawn theme, but you can, I already applied to the refresh themes if it's working fine. You can use any of the free theme. It could be spotlight, craft, sense, or any of the free theme that we have on the Shopify theme repository because they are basically done. All right, the code base is basically done. It's gonna work for all of them. And we are using for this, this slider is, we are using the uh, done default code base, making slight changes to make the slider a bit fancy and make it vertical, all right? So we are not creating from scratch, but I believe uh, it's gonna serve our purpose. I'm going to use the latest Dawn, which is 12.0. I applied it to 5.0 and 11.0. As you can see here, it's working perfectly fine. So it's gonna work on the previous version as well. So I'm going to create a template. I already did, all right? So we have the product slider. All you have to do, create a template and name it whatever you like, all right? And create based on the default one, all right? And then edit code and search for the template you created. In my case, product slider. You can see if it's a product template, uh, it would by default, it would name it like product.products, your template name. So in my case, product.product slider. This is my template. And if you create it based on the default template, you will see here main product. Right? So I name it uh, product slider because I duplicated the main product. All right. I copied everything from here and create another liquid file which is called product slider and paste it here make sure uh, after the process you make a test so that you can check that everything is working fine or not i already tested it and it's working we created a template because i'm just trying to make sure that we are on the safe side so anything happens so that you can check or delete or recreate it First, I'm going to customize this template. So let's choose the template we created. In my case, it's product slider. You can see. So I'm going to change the layout. Our layout should be thumbnail carousel. All right, and save it. Step one, we are going to enable the arrow for the slider. We already have arrow, so we just that is hidden so inside the slider component we have the list item and after the list item you can see we have slider button inside the button we have the arrows so this is the slider button we need to it's hidden by default we need to enable that we are going to overwrite some default css in that case we need to add a class so that using that class or by calling that class we can design our own css and make the layout as we like for that I'm going to edit the code 
so I'm on the back end right now we have the component the component is called slider gallery on the latest version everything is on the product media gallery snippet and this is our slider component here and you can see the slider gallery ID so here we have the product media list we're going to add a class here so if the gallery layout is thumbnail slider as we already said this thumbnail slider so we're saying if the layout is thumbnail slider add a class which is enable desktop slider and this is the default class maybe it's some base the CSS that's going to enable the slider and this is our class using this class we're going to use some CSS we're doing everything for our desktop that's why we're going to apply everything on the minimum width so above the 750 pixel and the CSS apply because on the mobile it's already set nothing to do there so we're going to add some CSS likewise we're saying if thumbnail slider is enabled add this class I'm going to put all the code snippet on the description yeah so it's you can see everything is fine here it's working perfectly fine the horizontal slider is now enabled we're gonna style this a bit later now we're gonna use this horizontal slider and make it a vertical to do that we're going we're going to enable an option that you want the vertical slider or not in that case we're going to edit the code we need to search for thumbnail slider thumbnail slider like this and I need a highlight on the schema after the scheme after the layout so the layout is is the gallery layout so the layout is getting end here after the layout we're going to add a checkbox make sure you put comma after ending it's a checkbox this is going to enable the slider by default it's false and this is a bit info that the desktop layout needs to be thumbnail carousel or thumbnail slider so inside um, inside the thumbnail carousel you can see we have vertical slider and this is the info that we see on the schema that the desktop layout needs to be thumbnail carousel all right if you want the vertical slider, make sure you check mark this. Uh, once we have done here, we're going to edit the code and here our thumbnail slider. So this is basically for to enable the arrow. I'm going to comment here so that you can understand better. Enable arrows. We're going to add one more condition which is basically for a vertical slider. So here if section layout gallery layout is thumbnail slider and uh, vertical slider is enabled, means the check mark is enabled, we're going to add these CSS. Once we saved it and refresh you will see the vertical slider is done all right so to make it look good um once we're here we're going to the media field should be fail and the desktop media width is going to be medium so that it looks good so i think uh, it looks good now and yeah that's it for today and you can see the mobile is also looking good everything is fine no problem and you can show the thumbnail as well if you like because we uh, did everything for the desktop only so it's not going to affect our mobile layout in my previous uh, video the zoom effect was disabled but it's enabled in this one so 
it's really optimized and it's not going to slow down your product page i hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure you like it let's say you're building something for your client you're having some issue and let me know in the comments so that i might explore it and make a tutorial for you